Is Belize a bad port? As with any port, you're going to get a variety of different opinions. That's normal. I can't fully speak to the whole experience. I mean, talking about an entire port is like talking like about an entire city. And so it's really hard to know it in full depth. But I can talk about my personal experiences. I've been to Belize twice. Both times I went, the weather wasn't fantastic. And what I really want to do in Belize is cave tubing. But every time I've been there, the weather or the forecast was not very favorable, and so I decided not to do it. So until I've tried cave tubing, I don't feel like I can give you a complete review. But I can tell you a few things about the port. Uh, for one thing, of the various ports that I've been to in my now 20 cruises, this is the one that is a tendered port that has the longest tender ride. We're talking probably well in excess of 20 minutes. Because there is a coral reef around Belize that is protected, the cruise ships can't get very close to it and you have to transfer to a tender and I love a tender ride so for me a tender ride is like an attraction or adventure thing on your own I love the tender ride into Belize once you get into Belize the area around the port is very sort of touristy tourist trappy whatever you want to call it very tightly packed lots of people kind of trying to get you to come into their restaurant uh, you know musicians playing music uh, stores all this kind of stuff very densely packed and full and full of people um, and so that can be very peopley, just in case that's a thing that you might be concerned about. Uh, you know, too many people, too, uh, uh, too little room, too little space, very crowded. Uh, and then you can get outside of that touristy area and walk around. When we, we did that our second time there, and so we walked around. There's a couple places where you can take your picture with a, with a sign that says Belize and stuff like that. And there's some nice views, but it feels economically depressed. So there is little markets and stuff. There's not a lot of people selling to you outside of it, like not aggressive selling from my experience. There were just people set up almost like a flea market. Uh, with like wood carvings and local sp uh, spices and hot sauce and things like that. Um, s walking around, did we feel safe? It, kind of a mixed bag. Um, it, you know, I, I didn't feel safe as I do in Cozumel uh, or other ports. So I didn't feel particularly safe, but I didn't feel particularly at risk either. But it does feel very economically depressed. So like the sidewalks are falling apart. Um, it, it seems like there's there's a lot of poverty in the area. So make your own judgments with that information. Make decisions for yourself. My recommendation for Belize, though, is either have an excursion booked or just basically plan on taking the tender there and back and don't have much into don't expect doing much more than that. And you'll probably be do you'll probably do fine.